Good evening, gamers. Are we ready to get nuts? Z nuts. With the mister? Hello, hello, welcome, Heaven Hollow. We got a, we got a little, we got a little guy tonight. Most definitely. Uh, welcome back to the Wheel of Scrimblows, where we are mulling over mascots. We are considering the characters. We are ranking the runners. We are judging the jumpers. We are pouring over the platformers. It is a frank look at funny little guys, gals, pals, freaks, and friends. Once been out of time. Tonight, I think we might got a little freak on our hands. We got Mr. Nuts. So there's not a ton to the series. Um, let me make sure y'all got audio. You're getting some, some kind of smooth, but awkward, slightly Christmassy music. You should be. Okay, good. Welcome Fuzzy Tipsy. Welcome Doll Focus. Welcome Sunny420 who is lurking. Welcome Lady Jim Rockford. Thank you for the sub. Uh, I believe I already said Chris. Welcome to Focus. We got a we got a squirrel. We got a squirrel to look at. We get situated. Um, so not a big series. Basically two games. Um uh, we're not gonna bother with the Game Boy ports because I looked them up and they seemed pretty similar, just worse. Uh, but there is a Game Boy Color port of this first title and there is a Game Boy Advance port of this first title. Now, this game was originally announced for the Amiga, but ended up only coming out for the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive. The sequel was planned for the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive but only came out for the Amiga. So we're gonna be taking a look at both of those tonight to get a, a firm grasp on Mr. Nuts. 
Let me kick over to my main input on capture card. You might lose picture for a hot second. It should come back. And then I gotta figure out why my monitor consistently wants to default to brightness 11 when I switch sources because that is too dark. We're gonna figure that out at a later time. All right, let's get nuts. Oh, okay, lady. Okay, lady Jim. We're gonna do that one. at all concerning when OBS gives me the uh, spinning wheel. All right, hopefully all didn't lose me. My internet has been steady today. I hope I'm not jinxing it by saying that. But we made it through the charity stream without losing anything, so that was nice. Tough, scary question involving a circle of squares. Would I be open to answering it? I will try, Heaven Hollow. I will try. Oh, <laughs> that circle of squares. Um, I am very exhausted by Mr. Phil Brooks. I believe that there's probably more to the story of than than what we heard with the EW. Um, but it sure seems like a lot of it was probably some backstage attitude on his part. Um, I really hate that that it became like some kind of weird. AEW versus WWE thing. I don't know. I think I, I, at this point. Oh, and then he immediately got injured and is like off, off for the rest of the year anyway. Uh, I think at this point I'm kind of categorizing CM Punk the same way I categorize uh, like new Star Wars where I'm just too exhausted by the concept of it and the presence of it to be invested in one way or the other. It did hurt the company, for sure. I think they're tomatoes, Fuzzy Tipsy. I think. Yeah, I honestly, Heaven Hollow, if we could have gotten the CM Punk that was promised on the, uh, oh, I can throw. Well, those are very useful. Uh, if we would have gotten the CM Punk that was promised on his, his re-debut, then I would have been thrilled. I was very excited for him coming back. <laughs> Fight Club. Apple or tomato. Don't like how they melt. That's creepy. That is fair. Oh, ow. Apples would make more sense. I don't... I got something. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I should mention this game is European. So there would probably be some diaper stuff that... Seems to be weirdly consistent from this era. That being said, the, uh... The last UK platformer that we looked at was Chuck Rock, and I'm already enjoying this a lot more than the Chuck Rock. Oops. <laughs> hey, Proto, I'm not hating. I'm not hating.
They love diapers. This is not a stereotype. This is just a fact. They love them some diapers. This is not hating. I'm just saying you're all diaper type. You're all on diaper type. That's all I'm saying. Oh, look, I'm not hating. I'm, I'm from the States. Like, we've created just as much awful in our, in our short time as the, as any European country, so. Beans on toast sounds really weird to me, but also I've only had uh, American style baked beans, which are very sweet. My understanding is that beans over there are not as sweet, so. Oh, well, just walk into that then. Uh, it might not be as vile as, as I'd imagine. Wait, we're to blame for beans on toast? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Why is my monitor? Just got this monitor and it's like defaulting to low brightness, even though I have the ridiculous uh, thing turned off. Oh well. Oh yeah, so I guess if you don't have nuts, uh, he just kind of does this little wave thing, which is not very effective. The one, the one split. Did you see that? Maybe they are apples. What is that? as to what that thing is, but it is leaping. Oh no, we, we lost the nuts. It's, I'll tell you, Proto, it's a little Bubsy-esque. It doesn't feel bad. It's definitely not Chuck Rock bad. But it's a little Bubsy-esque. The background, it has that, um, it has that Amiga problem. They love a detailed background. At least it's not just like random floating objects. Also, by the way, thank you, uh, Fight Club, first time chatter. Welcome back, Ghost Kitty Frog. Yeah, I don't think I'd be as elegant either. But that thing looks like straight out of Adventure Island. The spy door. I'll tell you, for as much attitude as uh, Mr. Nuts here shows in the box art. Not getting much attitude in game yet. Ouch. Do I think Mr. Nuts has volunteered in local elections? I don't. I 
I think Mr. Nuts would say he's quote unquote not into politics. If you were to ask him. I don't see why that hit me. Oh, yeah, Ghost Kitty Frog, that doesn't seem practical. I do love these little bugs. They're kicking big rocks at me, which is kind of rude. Um, but they're pretty cute. Oh, oh, oh. Well, back to, back to the start of Woody Land Journey 3, I guess. You know, I'm going Team Apple. I think these are apples. What I want to know is why every now and then one of them splits apart instead of melting. I keep forgetting, forgetting I have the, the nuts. I gotta use these nuts. Jim Rockford. It's beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, get out of there. Okay. Well, oh, damn. I didn't realize those little books are snipers. Crunchy apples are good, though. Oh, okay. We were going the right way. That's cool that it puts us through, like, an enemy gauntlet first. search history. I feel like you know how um, like Friday the 13th had a series and Freddy Krueger had a series. If for some reason David Cronenberg had signed a deal to make like a web series in the the early to mid 2000s it could have been called Cronenberg's search history I'd watch it too. What is what is what in the okay? It's like a Souls game. I can't stand still. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I think they might be dung beetles. I do, but they're all ammo. All the acorns I have are ammo. I never, I never know when I'm gonna have to use them up. I am rich in acorns and poor in health. It's a real gift to the magi situation. We got a little tail swipe. Oh, cool. <laughs> Health right at the end there. Oh, is that what split him? Because I nutted him? Oh. I think sometimes we're getting the, the nutting animation when I jump on them. Anybody else nut so hard that they split? Also, um, one of my very, very cool wireless earbuds decided that, oh, that spikes. Uh, it didn't want to charge, so I am going to have to switch over to my headset here at some point. Yeah, I don't want to miss any important audio cues. <laughs> my god, is my witness. They're broken in half. You motherfucker. Mm. Big mad. Uh, Sting's final match was good. They did a really good, uh, like, intro. And both of Sting's large adult sons dressed in some of his old ring gear and came out. Uh, as as different incarnations of Sting, so his uh the beefier of his two sons, the the beefer of the sons, was uh, like classic surfer Sting. I, I love those spikes. I love jumping right in them. And then his his lankier adult son, yeah. So the Destiny YouTuber came out as classic Sting, and the other one who I assume. Uh, what if you don't if you're not destiny you're valorant i don't know uh came out as wolfpack sting which was pretty cool but yeah it was fun uh darby allen wrestled like he was gonna retire at the end of the night as well as he always does it was a big goofy hardcore match uh, the Bucks made him look good and were, were very hateable. The, the, the Sting Spectrum, the Sting Gender Spectrum. Oh, get out of here. He has a YouTube channel where he makes a lot of Destiny videos. He put up an apology saying he was sorry that he had uploaded so little because he'd been training. That is so wholesome. Mr. Spider attacks.
Air fight. Whoa. Actually, unpleasant to look at. Ah. Now he's going to web us all up and drain Mr. Nuts of his fluids. remember the part of Return of the King that had the, the giant hillbilly spider, but it's been a minute since I've seen it. Damn, he just kind of falls over and dies, huh? Seems kind of dark. You have to knock the hat off. Oh, if only. All right, give me one minute. I'm gonna switch headphones since uh, these didn't charge. I'm just gonna mute. I'm not gonna like go to another screen. Ghost Kitty Frog, I know that was a typo, but I really want to hear Tony Schiavone yell, It's string! Why? Okay. It should... Should be back. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Here I am. We're so back. Love to be back. Love when stuff works. All right. Now, let me simply change the input. And surely nothing else will go haywire. Will we change the input? 
That would never happen. Hmm. Nope, that's still coming out of the speakers. What in the hell was that about? language. Hey, I only need to try to not swear for the first 10 minutes and I can say whatever. I don't want to edit these and I don't want to get shadow banned on YouTube. Shadow banned. Headphones, Yeti Classic. Chat O Band, the Irish farting artist. Ah, <sighs> yep. Uh huh. That's that's who that is. All right. Now it looks like our fine 4K capture utility from the fine folks at Elgato has crashed. Okay, now it should be back. Let's unpause. Hey, that's in my headphones. Can you hear it also? I'm hoping that bar's not moving much. Music, yes? Okay, good. Interesting. You know, who, who looks at the audio meters, really? All right. Oh, are we getting an echo? All right, we're just gonna turn this off. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, no, there was, there was no, oh, no, now there is movement on the nuts. <sighs> 4K capture thingy, why are you so bad? Okay, those nuts should be moving. Let me tell you. Go in here. It's just that's just horrifying for no reason. All right. What in the fuck is that? Why? Why do you do this? Well, I when I paid for it, didn't I? Sorry. Is it loud? Is it like super loud or something? Oh, it's doubling up. Hold on. Okay. It's louder than me, but not majorly loud. Okay. 
What good what a good software. Really makes me want to buy some fine Corsair products. Using the Elgato 4K capture software. Mal, Heaven, or Satan? Uh, it's not that bad. But I'll probably default to Heaven. At least for now. But thank you. Uh, Corsair does do Elgato. They didn't always. They bought them. To be fair, the hardware seems fine. I just jumped into that bird and died. The hardware seems fine. It is their capture software. It is fucking hot garbage. Why? I've had it freeze when changing what uh, what video signal I was feeding to it. Is there good capture? If there is, I haven't found it. Oh, come on. But, like, all I want to do... This doesn't seem unreasonable to me. Record clean gameplay and also record the stream. <laughs> Gotta get the camera nice and hot. I wouldn't think that that's, like too much demand, right? Like, I, my, my computer can handle Proto, is there a plugin to do that directly in OBS? Because I will gladly, like, if it, I don't care if it's a paid plugin. If I can switch back over to just using the video source from this capture card. Oh, look at this, look at this ledge animation. Why is this so aggressive? Is this? Yeah, yeah, gameplay separate, but also record the whole thing. Though I guess technically I wouldn't have to record the whole thing. I could just download it from, from Twitch after. Awesome, thank you. forever, but what the? That's horrifying. I'll say these, um, these little black brown squares do not read as would be sprungy to me. Aw, thank you, Ghost Kitty Frog. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for checking out these nuts with me. Oh, he's so dejected. I think we gotta continue. I gotta believe. I think the, the unwritten rule of the Wheel of Scrimblows is that we're trying to get to at least, like, stage three. Try to get through at least like stage three. Every time. Oh, somebody asked what the P coins were earlier. I don't know. I think they're just a collectible. No, every time. Every single every single time. Nope. Mmm. No, Fuzzy Tipsy, I, I didn't like that Scarecrow either. Christ alive. Okay.
See, business is picking up here in uh, Adventure Park. feeling much of a kind of way about Mr. Nuts here as a personality. This game is definitely thrown more at me than I thought. It is a little bit Souls-like. Yeah, maybe this is on the wrong stream. Maybe this is supposed to be on the From Software one. He seems chill. He doesn't seem particularly nuts. French language advertisements would have led me to believe that he would be significantly more nuts. Alright. Thanks, Gwen. Thank you for, for hanging out. I think it's likely. Fuzzy Tipsy, I think it's very likely. after surviving all this probably make everybody a little nuts oh good god I love falling on spikes mm, I can't get enough Focus, are you referring to quick time events with a C? Oh, Christ. Oh, you mean like concussion? What was the what was the hitbox there? What even was the hitbox there? Oh, thank you for the follow fight club. I am a, a big fan. I'm just gonna gun it. I'm gonna gun it through here. I hate Adventure Park. I never want to come back here. Ugh. This is the worst vacation ever. I never want to go back to Adventure Park. Cranial time events. That sounds like a... 
party game. Like a party game that you would get only at stores that specialize in board games and tabletop games. this that we're stepping on. Okay, carefully. The thing I was saying about not hating the controls in this one, I'm I'm feeling less that way. Those things, these things are bad. These are bad. You would think that they would feel like the music boxes in Super Mario, but they don't. They feel like awful. And they're so small. They're so small and tiny. And they feel very bad. Um, and there's a there's a bad worm with knives on it that just goes back and forth. And you don't have any acorns. extra one. Ugh. Fuck you. Oh, you scarecrow. <laughs> you found the level passwords? Um, we, m we might have to. subgenre of platformer would be where like roughly 60 to 70 percent of the enemies are smaller than you um, but it's not my favorite you have bad news for me I'm no longer in competition for the speed run ah well I'll just have to practice this one after I nail Rocket Knight. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Fuzzy. No, Eli. I'm sorry. Not like this. Not like this. Um, also, we made it up there. Jumping on the other one, it did nothing. Do we have to do them in order? Mmm, mm, buddy. There's no number two? <laughs> So literally, by completing the game, I could I could get number two on speedruns. Fuzzy, no, you don't do it again. Don't do it again. Eli, no. Why'd you do it again? No. Oh, this feels really bad, actually.
If a Terminator wants to come and just like step on my skull right now, I will thank them for it. Oh. <laughs> Clearly. Welcome back. Please don't post it again. I'm afraid it'll like perma ban you and I'll have to figure out how to undo that. God. Um, you spelled that wrong, Heaven. There's a Z at the end. But yeah. This is, uh, I don't know if you've, if I've done a Gamer Rage on stream, but this one might, might get me there. Okay. Christ. Hmm. So does that? Ew! Why does it look like he have a he has like a frog throat? Good to men. Um, I suspect that that switch just opened up the rocks at the bottom because it sure didn't do those. So I guess we go back down and find out. I don't want to. got the metal pretzel. Um, maybe that opened up here? Yeah, I, I feel like it was worth it. Personally, this one was worth it to me. attached to. To this? Hmm. Yeah, the cool thing about the Switch is, you know, kind of the cool thing about these blocks is that it's just also readable. Also how uh, if if Mr. does run out of nuts, you're just kind of fucked. You're gonna get hit by an enemy. There's not ample jumping space. this year. God, this is only the second stage, huh? We've only fought the one boss. God, that's depressing. Ah, oh, ah! Oh. I had that, too. That would have been so pro-gaming.
Nature's Luchadors, the Ladybug. I'm a little confused as to how these trees work, but... Maybe it's best not to think about it. Oh, cool! Oh! Yeah, they're just good trees, Chris. Right, Fuzzy. I keep forgetting I have Tail Whip. Yeah, okay. So you're not, you're not as defenseless as I was thinking. give Mr. Nuts enough credit. I do like the incredibly low rent version of the Catacillar from Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh cool, swinging. That'll feel good with these controls. Cute animation. Uh, you know what? That's not that bad. I thought that'd be worse. Oh, you do have to get the very end of it, though. Well, that's cute. They gave him a little acorn eyes. They have fun. They have fun over at Ocean. some health that would be incredibly clutch I'll give them this. The, the level design is definitely interesting. I don't love it, but it's interesting. Okay, so there's one more. Oh, 
honestly, it's a little bit, it's a little bit like the other two British platformers that we played recently. Um, but I like it better than those. There's definitely not anything in here as just bad to look at as Chuck Rock. Honestly, I feel kind of similar to uh, how we how we felt about Pugsy with this guy. So far, there was a vine I missed earlier. That's true. I hmm. Mang Chi was really hard to judge because there he was just such a blank slate. Like there's nothing there. Other than he takes out planes. He doesn't harm people. Oh god bless it. Oh those things. see that other swangin' rope. Oh, there's one. Okay, so if we, uh... Pugs, Pugsy, Pugsley, Pugsy. Actually, very similar uh, in that that game did not feel bad to control until we started getting to bouncy platforms. And that was when my will to continue uh, really just got completely drained. platforms are also kind of draining and Mr. Nuts. I don't remember a twofer. This might be new. Now we've been here. Son of a bitch. I'm losing it, folks. 
<laughs> I don't know. There's one more switch somewhere. But where? And why is this doing? Also, I'm not sure if it's my camera settings or the like five minutes of sun that I got today, but I look really red. So I apologize. I don't think it was sunny enough to burn me, but I am I am pale enough that that I wouldn't I guess be shocked. Hobbsy. Hey, baby. There she is. Am I wearing sunscreen? My, um, my facial moisturizer has sunscreen in it, but it is it was pretty overcast today and I was not outside for long. I'd be surprised if it's sunburned, but not too surprised. hard it's tricky it's like it, it's oh, I guess it's it's not hard but it's a hard habit to get in and stay in Hobbsy sweet sweet baby not helping oh thank you thank you for giving my palm a cleaning it needed it You're so helpful, Hobbsy. Thank you. It's worth it, though. Definitely, uh, you know, I wish I would have taken better care of my skin in, like, my 20s. Thank you. All right. I'm sure we're missing something obvious. Thank you, Heaven. But what are we? Where? Where are we missing? I'm all clean, thank you. But there's a lot of good stuff in, in the platformer genre, and I think there's a lot of good indie stuff that comes out now, but um, you know, there was definitely some misses amongst the hits. It is Hobbsy time. It's 
up the entire mess. They can't all be winners, and that's why we're here, right? Like, I'm trying to get to the root of it. Sometimes the game is bad. But we get a little critter that's... It's great. Sometimes we get a bad critter in a good game. You know, funny little guys. Not really doled out proportionally necessarily, and that's why we gotta determine who's the best. And who's the most. Honestly, I'm just confused right now. Like, hey, sweetie. what did we miss? Where have we missed? Mr. Nuts does have cool shoes. Gotta give him that. animation all right this is weird this is a weird tipping animation and I don't like his frog throat very much but he does have a fun hat I do like the hat bobbing tie best boomerangs uh, you know I might at some point have to get to tie two and three and really see if we need to reevaluate re re excuse me uh, that they're Tasmanian tiger. Is this new? Oh, this is new. Yo, I think we're I think we're on our way. Ty had a few things working against it. Him, really, when we uh, when we played it. Not the least of which was the fact that there's another one. Maybe there's maybe this is the way. Uh, not the least of which. Whoa, big mole! I was trying to use an HDMI adapter that was making the screen very dark. It was like not ideal. How's he, baby? I love having you here. Don't really want you to floss with my mic cord, thank you. So like not being able to make everything out in Tide did, didn't really help. <laughs> she was not flossing her teeth, no focus. Big mole. Wow, 
Well, it's, it's vacant now. Um, they might be baby. They might. They might be baby. They might be babies. They might be babies. Could maybe also just be different type of mole. They might be babies. I think they might be babies. Weird impact sound. Not sure I understand it. Um, this feels like a mistake. Yeah, this is back to the house. Can't go in the house? No? here do we do we scare you off with our our UK slander I apologize I have no idea what the coins are for I think they're just a um, just a bonus but I am wondering what for a for a UK gamer like the transition to 3D platformers. How did that feel? Because at least in the US, it was a pretty big, pretty big change. But a lot of these European platformers are already more exploratory. Here we go. We got the key. We're in the house. Uh. Witch. It definitely didn't just put a bird beak on the witch from Snow White. That's for sure. They definitely didn't do that. I can tell you that much. That's not what they did. Of skulls, right? Like, what is this Mortal Kombat? So, I can't tell if this is doing any damage. There kind of looks like a life meter for the boss. Over on the other side. Oh yeah, it's doing damage. Slowly but surely. Ugh. Okay, okay. We got this, we got this, we got this.
And that's why you get the pea coins. She was made of skulls all along. She was skulls. It's pretty scary. Scary shit. The living room. The living room. Well, this is challenging, um, because nothing about the game prior to this seemed to indicate that we were squirrel-sized. I do like that animation there. Cat.com, that is so true. Yeah, maybe we got shrunk. would definitely mean baby moles. I don't like that, but you're not wrong. So, the animation here kind of would kind of make me think, if I was looking at it, that this is a springboard. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be in any way. Fuzzy Tipsy, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I guess what I mean to say is nothing... Nothing gave me an indication that we were... In a world where... Things the scale of, like, a human to an average squirrel exist. Yeah, very spindly trees. I don't... I don't know what we're doing here. Yeah, it feels like it feels like it. I guess the bucket and mop are background. Fast enough to spin in helicopter, like tails. I gotta say, if if you simply can't make a jump at the beginning of level three, that that doesn't really count in your favor, Mr. Nuts. Push the chair. Good call. Clever, clever. springies. Yeah, why would you want to indicate that? There's definitely not like a tried and true method of giving you one example where there's no need to do that and then another example where you're in slight danger if you don't do it before putting you in actual danger. That's definitely not something that they were doing by Mega Man 2. New mechanic approaches. Heaven, I honestly, getting pretty close to calling it on this one.
Cat.com, I would definitely go to your GDC talk. Uh, see, I feel like Souls Likes teach you the game through death. Um, whereas this is kind of just making me want it. That's not that bad. Why'd that chicken look like bubble gum? See, now the scale. We're, we are full size again. What is the narrative here? Why is the baby from eraser head walking around? I'm not gonna lie, cat.com, that sounds kinda sick. Oh, well that's worse. Uh, it seemed to be an, an, an uncooked chicken. Judging by the hue. I don't know if they had to go with such a bubblegum pink though. That's just salmonella. There's a real hodgepodge of theming going on in this kitchen. We got raw chickens, we got a bee. We got the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. We got champagne bottles that cork at us. A lot of them really are. to level three. I think we might call it for for Mr. Nuts volume one and, and return with Mr. Nuts getting mad or whatever it's called. Drop the nuts. I think we got a, a pretty good grip on that. I am going to take five and stretch my legs. I will be right back. Uh, don't go anywhere. We have, we have more nuts on the way. BRB.
Bell Focus, if you figure it out, please let me know. All right, we are back. It's time to get hopping mad with Mr. Nuts 2. Again, uh, the first game initially announced for the Amiga ended up releasing on the Genesis. This one officially announced originally for the Genesis ended up releasing on the Amiga. Return of the Nut. See, we are switching over to good old retro arch. So give me a one a moment. And get a load of these nuts. Uh, so there's two different versions here. As far as I can tell, the only difference is what team ripped them originally. But we are going to look at both crack screens. Because they're kind of amazing. There can be only one Quatrex gem, Mr. Nuts, Ocean Software. One more compromise I won't be making. One more cheating hand I won't be shaking. One more substitute I won't be trying. So many times we stand and fight. So many reasons can't be right. One more simple truth I'm not denying. Cortex, the only name in the business. Wait for it. Brought to you by the very best, Cortex. The best there was, the best there is, the best there ever will be. Also remember a game worth playing is a game worth buying. So true. Most of the time. Yeah, only a year. Now. That crack intro did have a Bret Hart quote and whatever song they were quoting. But it didn't have jamming tunes. So in my opinion, not as good as this other one. For the record, I haven't gotten to the game yet. But I did get to this, and I probably sat on this for about five minutes earlier. Sorry, Hopsy, thank you for participating. Oh, she's purring, she liked it. Uh, there is a, a trainer included. We're not gonna gonna sully ourselves with that. Greets to all groups who deserve it. I think I'll like it more or less. More or less, yeah. More or less. 
No, I, I have no idea. But it's got the uh, the crack intro there. It was probably better than anything we could ask for the gameplay. Also, I'm not sure this one's loading. <laughs> we might have to go back to the one without the cool intro song. Which I at least got into the title screen of earlier. The emulated loading sounds are very good. Red Heart wins again. Red Heart stay winning. Also, congratulations to Bret Hart for, like, finally being able to openly hate Vince McMahon again. Uh, after having to kind of, like, grovel back. There are many bitter old men in the wrestling business. Nobody deserves it more than you, Bret. Um, in a positive way. Man, Goldberg. I don't think he was ever coy about hating Goldberg. <laughs> I think he's taken every opportunity to shit on Goldberg that he possibly could. And reason reasonably so. Okay, I, I saw a title screen earlier. Here we go. He's looking a little more nuts. I don't think Punk has earned as much of the bitterness as, uh, as Brett did. Ooh. Whoa, I thought he was about to flip us the bird. Just got fisted by the nuts. Oh. Well, I thought that would take us to the next ladder. Up and ma. Are we too cropped? Do I need to uncrop uncrop it some? Fisted by the nuts would be a good punk album name. Humpty, you're such a ham. Whoa. That's spaceships? Oh, somebody saw how the overworld in Super Mario World looks in the meantime, huh? Hello, I've got a message for you. Strange things have happened on the mainland. Chickens from outer space are trying to conquer the world. We need your help. I'm on my way. Or how can I reach the mainland? Let's just... Let's just go for it. Hurry up. Chickens from outer space. This is wild. This is wild. This is the map? Hey, hands off my chest. From now on, the chickens rule this world. We hide our treasures in chests and bombs to blow up stones. Just stand in front of a stone and press the fire button to set the bomb. But don't you get too close. Don't have bombs. Oh, I got a bomb. There we go. Maybe. Did I get it? Nope. 
Maybe? Yeah, I did. There's alien chickens now. Is this... Is this the game? I thought this was a map screen. This is bizarre. Hey, what's your name? I am a little hit point. I... I really wish that we hadn't... I was really trying to go to the next, uh... Next letter in the name. So you are the squirrels that... The squirrel that struggles against the chickens. This is too much. I wonder if we can rename the file. Really don't love... Don't love that. Not what I was trying to do. Oh, the, the fact that I just accidentally named him the letter N. I should probably read it. The chest is locked. It's locked. Who are you, little rascal? I'm no rascal, I'm a squirrel. What do you want here? There are no bases here. There's nothing here except this innocent looking bush. Besides, there are no special flowers in the bases. Special flowers or special flowers? I'm gonna go, uh, special flowers. Yes, you don't recognize them. If you quickly run past them, their leaves rotate. The faster you are, the more leaves will rotate. If the topmost leaf rotates, the flower will start to throw out gems and other interesting things, but it's a secret. Mmm. That's good. That's good, Fuzzy Tipsy. I like that. Is this like an airport thing? This is weird. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna have uh, uh, any pretense that I understand what's going on. Like, I fully thought this was a map screen and we were gonna walk a few feet. and then start a level. Zelda-ish, but like it's weird that we're restricted to to these paths. Like visually, yeah, it's it's very Zelda. Yeah, they kind of they kind of neutered Mr. Nuts. have to get to the top of the what's to the right down here ah call good call 
call, good call. Oh, we got a, a bat? Another message from the seagull. This is a magic feather. Give you the ability to fly is simply push the up and fire together after a jump with the run up to stop gliding. Press down and fire together, but you need at least five hit points to use it. Because everything in this game is so wordy. Also, if this is a map screen, how much shit are we going to get before we see a level? We got cool sunglasses? Oh, this must be alien chicken. Say, did you steal the magic feathers? I just found them in the chest or never seen your feathers. We're going to lie. Really? But a squirrel stole our magic feathers. We need them back if in, in any case. Okay, is this a level? I think, I think we might be entering a level. Yeah, you're right. I think that flag earlier was a level. Okay, so up is jump now. That feels bad. Feels like a Sonic. Is that done already? At least the exits are labeled. He did have clothes last time. Well, the levels are definitely shorter in this one. fully don't know what to make of this right now. I'm pretty sure the Amiga was was straight up don't copy this floppy. Both versions of this that I was able to find are um, like split amongst four. The thing doesn't work. Someone should let the mechanic know. The load times are kind of really compounding how short these little Sonic levels are, though. The up to jump is really unfortunate. I'm sure there's a way to... God, that's really Sonic-y. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to address that, but I don't I don't know much about Amiga emulation. Well, 
that is that. Uh, there is a prototype of this one on the on the Genesis. I guess we could take a look at that as well. Let me try to find another level or two in here before we do anything. There has to be a setting to, to speed up the simulated booting, right? Well, I'm sure there is, but I don't really want to break anything. This game done me a confusion, you know? I'm liable to agree. Hold on. Oops. Hold on. This is a transporter. Simply stand underneath it and push the fire button. Perhaps you should try. Perhaps you should try. Is a ghost up here? You know we gotta meet this ghost. It does feel a little like patches. I am... Dish... Dishin? Ghost of the air. I offer you a trip to the clouds. It costs you only one star. The chickens have loads of treasure there. I don't have a star, but... But I don't have enough gems. I'm an honest ghost. You turn your back on fortune. Okay. But, like, I literally don't have... Maybe it is... Yeah. To Shin, to Jin. Who knows about um, like British pop culture in 1994? Is there, is there somebody named like Da Shin, a Schwinn bike? Maybe, maybe. Sorry, Hobsey, I know you're trying to sleep. It's interesting that the one that's not on the Mega Drive is the one that is so blatantly a Sonic. Christ, that's short. That's so short. Roland DeShane, the man in black? The gunslinger? Maybe. Maybe. Like, that is unbelievably short level. What in the world? Yeah, I guess we could probably try to try to find another path. The, the movement doesn't feel like it's encouraging me to explore. It feels like it wants me to, to zoom. Oh. I thought escape might get me like a menu, but escape just backed out of the game completely. Um, let's let's see if we could check out the prototype.
Yeah, we won. He's still, he's been standing here this whole time. We have truly escaped. Title screen. Um, I have played a little, a little Monster Hunter. I've played some of World and uh, some of Rise, but I haven't finished either. I'd like to get back to them. Name Nuts. World Nature. they're zooming okay so we got a bigger menu or a bigger uh, map screen interesting same concept though I guess at least here I'll be able to uh, probably jump with not up. So that's cool. Hooray. You know, I, I hate to say it, but these controls are a little squirrely. for the text box popping up is super fast. It's really weird. It's weird to look at. different island last time. Oh, I've missed this chest. Oh, it was the teleporter and I forgot the, uh, Fucking blast processing. Let's go. Honestly, this is <laughs> this is straight scrimbin. He scrimble went so hard. And now that we don't have 15 minutes of load time, we're gonna go back in and we'll explore. Go for a higher score. 
Give that option. I mean, there's a little bit to explore. Not a lot, but a little bit. It's a confusing game. Heaven, it is a confusing game. Seems pretty much like the same thing. Just a, a different version of it. Um, now, I do think, to be fair to Mr. Nuts, I know we, we did peek into these commercials last week. Um, probably in the future, Kevin. Right now, most of my community is in uh, the If You're Driving, Close Your Eyes Discord. Um, but as I grow the channel, probably would be wise to, to do my own. So yes, we are going to have to see the commercials again. Because I feel like they're just as much a part of Mr. Nuts as anything else. Oh, 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 we gotta get the video on there. Easy now, easy now. So we definitely didn't get to the boss that was a big human head shooting eyeballs at us. This looks like a different video game. This looks like... I wonder if these... These clips are from the proto, like the Amiga prototype of the first game. Oh, there's a Super Nintendo version. So they're probably from the Super Nintendo version. Is this different enough that we should look at it? Why, <laughs> Fuzzy? I know the black and white parts are the Game Boy, but like this is different. These are different graphics. Does the new Challenger approach? Do we need to? We need to check out the SNES. I kind of feel bad. I didn't realize it would be so different. It does sound like Pingu. I think we might have to check that out. Well, give me one moment. I don't believe I prepared Mr. Nuts for this nest, but I can make it happen. Doot, doot. He's a little newt newt pilled. Just a funny little newt newt guy. Okay, gotta put it in games. Video James. Okay. 
for some reason I thought that this one was unreleased, but definitely not the case. So was the SNES version the same year? Yes. Oh, it looks like it actually released before in Europe. Wild. Pretty freaky. All right, let's uh Let's give him one last try. I guess should should play. Um no, come on. Here we go. No, we don't we don't need these guys. These guys don't count. You didn't see those guys. I just wanted the new challenger approaching. Um, I looked into the Game Boy Advance version and it looked pretty similar. But apparently I, I really dropped the ball here on the SNES version, so who knows? Uh, but I think for the sake of brevity, probably won't count tonight. But I clearly... Folks, I have, I have failed you. I failed the community at this. All right, let's get out of the Mega Drive core and get into my car. Hi, Juno. Hi, baby girl. Hi, sweetie. Hi, come here. Come here, come here, come here. All right. And let me kick this over to my monitor. And reset the Ogato 4K capture software in OBS because it does this every time. Okay. All right. Um, Monsieur Nuts. I do know. Hi. Oh, wow. Got a whole, whole field of flowers. Grapes? Oh my god. Ooh, we got the mode 7. Alright, so we're still in Woody Land. Oh, he's, he's big. He's a big sprite here. Hey, Saturn, there's nothing obscene about Mr. Nuts. I'll try to stack the cats without either of them running off.
I don't think it's cold in here, or cold enough in here for, for this to function, but we're trying. If it's chilly enough, they'll do this. No, Juno's purring. Well, here they're not melting. Oh no, they still melt if you jump on them. Hey, <laughs> you know? Oh, oh no, nope, she's sorry, Hobbsy. Juno has fully taken over the lap. Yeah, if you nut super hard, they split in half. You gotta nut real hard. Okay, you comfy, Juno? <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I think they are plums. Okay, there's still a bee. Oh, I died. You come for Juno. X2, baby. Available at your gas station counter. Look like a carrot tree. Purple tomato. diaper. I feel like I got hurt when I jumped on the the plants in the Sega version. Got some effects going. The sheer lack of, like, any parallax scrolling on that background, though, does make this feel like a map painting. I don't think that's intentional. Oh, okay. Okay, bye, Juno. I, I don't know if it feels nicer. It's different. Like, it's definitely... I think it's kind of par for the course with that area, or that era, that era, era, era. That era of, um, you know, a port was back in the day, like built from from ground up with the same design docks, roughly, right? Like this used to be what that meant. You know, when, when we were arguing on the playground about whose Aladdin was better. I'm like, I don't know if I would say this is better or worse than the Mega Drive version. It's just different. I think the... The Genesis one has more personality. Oh, there, I nutted that one in half. See it? Oh, 
I feel like there's a lot more porcupines in this. Yeah, it did, didn't it? I don't know. That's some gotcha right there. That was some gotcha. Purple apples. It's simply purple apples. Time change. I don't think we got that in the Genesis one. Now they're red. Now they're red. What the fuck is going on with these? So, do we think it was a mistake that they were purple? Like, was that a palette accident that they just kind of left? <laughs> we still have dejected Mr. Nuts. Oh, God. Oh, God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it happened. Oh, God. Aha, let's go. Oh, I can't believe she left me after 30 years. Oh, God. Oh boy, purple apples to kill. I think it's missing a float mechanic. I think that this game needs uh, like a tails, not even tails necessarily, just like a glide. Mr. Nuts, the middle-aged divorcee. I think it makes sense. The hat and vest is kind of giving, like, divorce dude at the comic shop, you know? Sometimes you just be confused by apples. named Dr. Balls. She's Mrs. Balls now. Good night, Fuzzy Tipsy. <laughs> Thank you for coming out. I would like to at least get to that spider in this one, but, uh, I don't know, if we, ugh. If we lose all three of our nuts again, and I think that, that we'll probably call it. This is getting late, and I really can only do this video game for, for so long. We got a spider web in the background there, we got some foreshadowing. As far as the the generic funny little critter tier, Nuts is doing okay. 
Soul's, Soul's nut. But like, I don't, I don't, I'm not getting anything from Mr. Nuts that would put him above the generic little critter tier. say it, the Mega Drive one is better to control. Oh, here's this hell. Seems to be a full release. I thought that this was canceled. Like, I left this off the list because I didn't want to spend the whole night looking at prototypes. So that's my bad. Clearly, misread the situation. Try Saturn. We'll try. Got a Mr. Nuts that looks like a stall would be unhinged. That's Mr. Nuts. Oh, God. Oh, I told her I'd quit drinking, but I just can't help it. The trees are too spooky. Oh, God. Oh. Game over. What would you make them say, Dolphogus? Hey, 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Chuck Rock might have might have actually made that game over. Man, so like. I got real mixed feelings about this one. I don't think he was horrible, but... But was he memorable? That's a good question. And that I don't know if I have an answer for yet. I don't feel much. I don't feel much. What's the fur pure routine? It is a lush, gorgeous tail. I use I use 30 different shampoos on my tail. And I co-wash it every other week with 14 different conditioners. That's why Karen left me. She said I was spending all our money on shampoos and conditioners. I told her we got we got nuts stored up for the winter. And she said, what did I know about nuts? I said, I'm Mr. Nuts, goddammit. I know everything about nuts. Oh, there is. There is. I do know. I just realized cat cam is still on. Well, good news. She back. Um, yeah, I don't know. The commercials might be bringing him up a couple spots. I think he's square ahead of Hermie Hopperhead right now. I know I need to make a Juno emote. Sorry, Juno. You're just, you don't pose for pictures as often. Nothing personal. I think I'd feel comfortable putting him right there. Chew me. Chew me very early. Hermie, good character design. Hermie had weird chicken goobers on his head. Good character design. But very forgettable. Mr. Nuts... Hey, in that second game, Mr. Nuts definitely ran. One hundo percent. I think he moved fast enough to be considered a runner. Yeah, I think he goes right above her me. We didn't get much from Chumi, but she's very early Scrimblow. And what we did get was she had some personality. She slowed down when she eat, whom's amongst us, right? I think it might be his kid's birthday and I think they might not be calling him. I don't know if it's his birthday. Yeah, I still like him better than Hermie. I think he goes here. Oh, well, I wrote it like, like a new metal forum or something. She took the kids, God damn it. Um, Saturn, I do it out of love because I want Mr. Nuts to be better. I want him to be better. super into model trains. That's possible. Mr. Nuts from Mr. Nuts. 
series, I guess. Two games is a series, right? Uh, so congratulations to Mr. Nuts. You are technically a uh, top 10 Scrimblow. I need to add our sets a bit there. Congrats. Um, I think it's time for the wheel. Now, we are going to be doing a Wheel of Scrimblows on Thursday. Very special Wheel of Scrimblows on Thursday uh, for Drimp with a J. Um, a game that may or may not have some content warnings. Be our first, like, really itch ass itch.io game on here, so. Uh, that's not going to be part of the normal rotation. It's going to be in there. Since we're in between from soft games. But just early warning. Same time, Thursday, 7.30. Uh, just early warning that there may be some violent, like some, I don't know, I need to talk to Gonch again. He, or Fonk? I forget. One of them. I'll talk to them both about it. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, Heaven, normally I do uh, Wheel of Scrimples on Tuesdays, and then on Thursdays I've been doing From Software with Liv. Uh, we started with Armored Core 6 when it came out, and then I decided, you know what, I'm a big From Software fan. There's a bunch of games I haven't played. Let's just roll on through. Um, so we moved to the original version of Demon's Souls, which I had never played. I had to play the remake uh, after that, and we just wrapped that up last week. So um, as part of the charity event, um, Honk or Gonch, one of the two, <laughs> they're now melding together in my, in my sleepy brain, um, nominated uh, Dark Souls Remastered. So that'll be that'll be coming up next. But in the meantime, <laughs> Gonk or Fonge. Uh, in the meantime, uh, since I did want to have like a more lighthearted, less potentially triggering um, Scrimblow, funny little guy, funny little gal, up on the wheel. Uh, we kind of we got an extra, so we're gonna do that. We're going to do that Thursday. That being said, I think it is time to spin that wheel. And see who's going to be up next Tuesday. You go to heaven. The wheel of heaven. Yeah, so we are uh, we're using pickerwheel.com now. This is the third third wheel <laughs> site that we've used. Um, but so far, this one seems to have the best best compatible features, I guess. That's where I'm looking for. Uh, let's go ahead and kill the game audio and bring that back up and let's spin that wheel there is there a surprising amount of wheel websites all right if it's not cool spot you're gonna do crime let's find out if you're doing crimes chris Oh shoot, no, it's not cool spot. Also, that's not centered with the wheel. So that looks bad. Sorry, I need to fix that. Rocky Rodent. Let's go. I'm actually kind of excited about this. Um, 
we're going to do this. One second. I'm just going to go ahead and adjust this. So Rocky Roden, <laughs> Rocky Roo, is, uh, oh no, don't move you. Kind of a Super Nintendo Sonic clone. Look and um, oh, the, the dead wheel is behind it. Don't look at the dead wheel. I'm gonna pull him up here in just a second. I want to make this not look like trash. Well, you know what? It can look like trash. We'll fix it later. We'll fix it in post. What am I going to do when Mega Man gets pulled? That is a great question. We will find out. Rocky Rodent. Uh, in Japan, is called Nitro Punks Might Heads with a Z. So this is this is two Z's in a row, kind of. Why is it called that? Because the name is great. Oh, no, it's not with a Z. I'm sorry. I misled y'all. It just felt like it should be a Z. Why is the Chrome capture not coming up? Excuse you. There you go. Okay. So we got This funny little guy right here. Who they made look like uh, this when they brought it over. They said, oh, no, Americans wouldn't want to play something that looks like a, a sick Looney Tune, something that looks like a badass, sick ass Looney Tune that looks like graffiti exploded they want to play something that looks like nelson months fell into radioactive waste i definitely saw this game around and didn't play it because this cover looked so assy if he had looked like this i would play that shit for sure Excuse me. So that'll be next Tuesday. We will be looking at Rocky Rodent or whatever his name is in, in Nitro Punk's Might Heads. I Jaundice is pretty, pretty good scrim blow indicator, a scrim indicator, if you will. Thank you, Saturn. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Kevin, thank you very much for, for sticking around this whole time. Nice to have you again. Uh, nice to have you not at six in the morning. <laughs> it's very cool. Uh, Saturn, I think you're just looking at it wrong. Sorry. But but thank you. Anyway. Uh, thanks to all the, the new chatters tonight. Thank you, Fight Club. Thank you, Ghost, Ghost Kitty Frog. Not a new chatter, but good to have you back. Thank you for the follow, Miracle Prism. You uh, you followed right before the stream. And the Corrigan, you followed earlier. So if y'all are watching either now or in post, uh, thank you. Speaking of in post, I will be putting some more VODs up on YouTube this week. So 
Uh, expect the entirety of Demon Souls to hit. Uh, I've been behind because I got sick. Oops. All right. Well, on that note, everybody, thank you for scrambling with me. I will see you soon. Till next time. Keep those Mr. Nuts swangin'. Night.